Some key highlights for our meeting are as follows. First, we agree to elevate the Thailand Cambodia relations to strategic partnership. This will open up many new opportunities for us to work even more closely. Thailand will open a new consulate general in Syria, while Cambodia will also open a new consulate general in Songkhla soon this year. Second, we will strengthen security cooperation to maintain peace and stability, especially along the Thai Cambodia border. I have assured Prime Minister Humanet that it is Thailand's policy not to allow anyone to use Thailand as a platform to interfere in the internal affairs or conduct harmful activities against our neighboring countries. We will strictly enforce our laws and policy in this respect. The two countries will also strengthen cooperation to fight transnational crimes, especially cyber scam networks. Third, we will accelerate economic cooperation between Thailand and Cambodia. Last year, our bilateral trade volume stood at about 8 billion US dollars, which is still short of our target of 15 billion US dollars by 2025. To inject new energy into bilateral trade, Thailand will host the seventh Joint Trade Committee at the, com at the Commerce Minister level as early as May to come up with a plan to boost the volume of bilateral trade. A quick win will be immediately implementation of MOU on goods in transit that was just signed, which will help increase the volume of trade, especially border trade. We also welcome the signing of the MOUs between Exit Bank of Thailand and Cambodia Chamber of Commerce and between Thai and Cambodian Chambers of Commerce, which will also help increase two-way trade and investment. Fourth, on energy security, as Thailand and Cambodia import huge amounts of national fuel every year. We discussed and agreed to strengthen our cooperation in the field of energy security. In this regard, we agreed to discuss further on the joint exploration of the hydrocarbon resources in the overlapping claims area between the two countries. At the same time, we attach importance to the maritime delimitation and agree to discuss the issues simultaneously with our exploitation of the hydrocarbon resources. In this regard, I will instruct the Minister of Foreign Affairs to consult with other authorities concerned, including the Minister of Energy and the Royal Thai Navy, on the issue for further discussion with Cambodian side. Fifth, we will expedite development of border areas. We have pledged to make Thailand Cambodia border free from landmines. The two countries will move quickly to humanitarian remining in pilot areas. The goal is to make our border area safe for our people. We will make progress on the upgrading of pending border crossing checkpoints. The Joint Boundary Commission or JBC will meet very soon. The MOU of Disaster Emergency Response, which was just signed, will provide a framework for closer cooperation in response to emergencies, especially along the border area like the fire incident in Margaret in 2022. Sixth, we will boost cooperation on tourism. I am pleased that 1.8 million Thais visited Cambodia last year, making Thais the largest number of visitors to Cambodia. In the meantime, Thailand is one of the top destinations for Cambodia. Going forward, we will look into ways to make it easier for tourists to travel across borders and visit points of interest in both Thailand and Cambodia as well as in other neighboring countries 
in one trip. We will join hands in the six countries, one destination campaign to promote regional tourism. If Europe can do it, why can't we do it? We agree to work on the update of the agreement on border crossing to allow for the use of temporary border car. Longer stay and access to non-border provinces like Serbia. We will resume negotiation on a bilateral agreement on cross-border transportation by roads to enable border crossing by private cars. Seven, both countries will increase cooperation to tackle the problem of transboundary haze pollution. The goal is to ensure clean air for the people of both countries. Yeah. We agree to set up a joint working group to map out cooperation, including one, establishing a hotline for sharing of information and alert on burning locations. Second, emergency responses, and third, capacity building and sharing of best practice in areas such as agricultural burning management. I also invited Cambodia to join the clear sky strategy with Thailand, Laos, and Myanmar to work together on this issue. Eighth, on labor cooperation, I reassure Prime Minister Hunan that Thailand attached high importance to making sure that Cambodian workers in Thailand receive fair treatment and proper economic safety net. On Myanmar, Thailand and Cambodia share the same goal on the desire to see a peaceful, stable, and unified Myanmar. Both countries want to see Myanmar back fully in the ASEAN family. The Thai government will play a proactive role to provide humanitarian assistance to the Myanmar people and promote peaceful solutions in Myanmar. We will do this together with ASEAN. Lastly, next year will mark the 75th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between Thailand and Cambodia. There will be a series of activities to deepen friendship and understanding between the people of both countries, especially the youth. Prime Minister Kumanian and I are optimistic about the future and of relations and cooperation between Thailand and Cambodia. We will continue to meet and consult regularly. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency Prime Minister Xi Jinping. And very good morning to Excellency Prime Minister of the Press. It's allowed me to start by extending my sincere appreciation to Chief Justice Prime Minister for graciously inviting me to pay official visit to the Kingdom of Thailand and as the Royal Thai Government for the warmest hospitality, excellent arrangement extended to me and my destinations. <coughs> In just five months, His Excellency and myself we have lived uh, on several occasions and uh, this full that we want to. I have a chance to discuss and this, have expressed and show the strong relationship between our two countries. Our two kingdoms enjoy long standing relations. Over the past 74 years, these have been nurtured, strengthened, and in 2017, we elevated to the status of enhanced partnership for peace and prosperity. And like Prime Minister's I mentioned today that we have agreed to raise the status of our relations to strategic partnerships. They will signify a growing strength and opportunities to strengthen relations between countries and people. Our discussion have charted a new course of actions in my fostering shared growth, prosperity, as well as collaboration across diverse sectors, including trade investment. Connectivity, tourism, labor, defense, and security. We also discussed the importance of exploring and putting to a consideration of long term security and key security for our countries, especially in the face of the new changing global environments. This has become a very important uh, issue for long term sustainability for the post country. 
So I have agreed that our joint technical team will explore and discuss further on this matter. We hope that to yield results uh, very soon in the near future so how both countries can get mutual benefit from this. Our two authorities concerned have also scheduled the assumptions of the important bilateral mechanisms which has put on hold quite a bit due to COVID and other uh, matters. Namely, the Joint Trade Committee, GTC, Joint Commission for Bilateral Cooperation, GTC, General Border Committee, GBC, and we also discussed the possibility of reconvening the Joint Cabinet, which is a very good platform for our two cabinets to meet and discuss on a regular matters on the Border Cooperation ที่ปลาหลอกปลาและแช่ไปปลาหลอกปลาแล้วก็ไปกันแล้วก็ไปกันแล้วก็ไปกันแล้วก็ไปกันแล้วก็ไปกันแล้วก็ไปกันแล้
And humanitarian aid is then did to Cambodia, especially the UK and the same for our neighbors from Thailand. My sincere appreciation of the way to the real Thai government and facilitation and care for our people, also study and other activities in Cambodia and Thailand. Your Excellency, Prime Minister, your, your decisions to select Cambodia as your first overseer of the country this last year. And my presence here today reaffirms our commitment to strengthen the relationship between our two governments, which will yield the result of our uh, relationship that benefit our people and countries. And thanks for your reaffirming of uh, the support that not allowing uh, Thai territory to be used for the activities for insurance in Cambodian internal conflicts. The same sense of Cambodian government is also a commitment of not allowing Cambodian soldiers to have to land or for conducting activities to interfere with Thailand or causing uh, issues in Thailand. But we have our previous commitment our government has also made that safe for the state. This is for the mutual respect, mutual benefit of our countries, to promote stability and trust and confidence, and also for the strengthening of our future relationship together. Thank you very much for the